Hello everyone, I'd like to talk today about a more basic topic and it's the topic of consistency. I'm sure you've heard a lot about it, but I'd like to give my thoughts on it. So today I was invited to play tennis at 6.30 in the morning and I don't normally play that early. I went to sleep kind of late, couldn't sleep well, got up, came here a little bit late and the first hour was awful. <laughs> Just tired, when I'm tired I get cranky. When I'm tired and cranky, I'm slow, and then the, I don't play well, and then I get frustrated, and then the whole thing is a, a loop, right? But through the whole process, I knew that I'm here. Very importantly, I'm here. Uh, I've broken through the barrier of resistance, of waking up, of actually coming, and this is better than sleeping at this point, because I'm here, I'm practicing. My shots are getting better, my resilience is getting better, my ability to handle frustration is getting better. And yeah, closer to the end, I started playing quite a bit better, and then a uh, coach came by and gave me a few pointers too, which was nice. Um, so that's me with my personal story right now. But when it comes to developing any skill, consistency is a must. You're never gonna get something right the first time. It's a matter of consistent practice. And then as you practice, the nuances begin to fill in. You instinctually start developing your own style, which is a lot more fluid and close to the thing in its perfect form than it would be, or your perfect form rather, than it would be when you start when it's all clunky and awkward, right? Consistency gives you the ability to consistently break the ice between you and what you're doing. And then what you're doing ends up becoming something of fluidity and something of grace and something of strength. Whereas before it was just a, a new activity. And you can be assured that there's a lot of awkwardness, you know, like imagine a first date. You know, there, there's an awkwardness there, right? But through the course of time, people get to know each other better. Similarly, with building muscle or learning an instrument or writing or whatever it may be, the value of consistency is that it's, it becomes not as much something that you do, so much as something that you are. Because it, it, whatever you're doing becomes a natural outflow of yourself because you've done it so much. Like, for example, um, another example, when I had a band, uh, I'd never written a song before, but I started a band with two of my buddies and me. We play music, we play covers, Chili Peppers, Beatles, Green Day, Metallica, and it was fun. And we were awful, but it was fun. And then I wrote a song uh, a couple months in, and it was horrible. I forced myself to write it, and it was awful. The, the melody, I don't even know if it had a melody. It had a melody, it was bad. The rhymes were bad. The chorus was bad. The lyrics were stupid. And, but so it was, you know? And then as time went on, uh, instinctually some songs started coming and they started to become good and they started to come on instinct rather than by force, right? Rhyme structure became better. Uh, the, the melodies would come to me rather than me thinking of them. And that just came as a natural outflow of practice. And to this day, I can't sit and write a song. But I do sit and write quite a bit. I, most mornings, actually, I sit and write one to three pages. If not in the mornings, and sometime later in the day. Uh, it was recommended to me by a book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. Um, and, yeah, uh, some, some cool speeches have come out of that. A JFK World Peace speech came out of that. Some other interesting writings, like a... Uh, alternate fictional thing of the Godfather, right? The Godfather spoke to the head of five families about peace, about retiring from the business and uh, hope, wishing the best for the rest of them. Uh, I wrote something like that, you know, something for me to enact. And it came off instinct, you see? And the writing is not a new thing. I've been writing forever, right? I've, I have a skill in that. And, but I've been practicing it more lately, and then as a result, every so often, something great comes on instinct. But of course, most of it is drudgery. <laughs> so much of everything is just drudgery. But where you have grit and pain tolerance uh, is where you can find consistency through drudgery, find a meditative aspect in the drudgery, build the base foundations of whatever it is so strongly that uh, that 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 art, artist artistry and beauty and so forth can come in in some select moments and and you don't do it you know just for those moments you do it for the whole thing you do it because you like the grind because remember it is you when you do it consistently enough 
So anyway, these are my thoughts on consistency. Hope you enjoyed it.